Welcome to Accelerating 2D Drafting Breakout. We're going to be focusing on a series of standard core commands that you guys use every day to help you create and modify 2D geometry faster and more intuitively with BricsCAD V25. We've looked at standard commands that you guys use on a daily basis. And V25 has looked at areas as to how we can improve this, making your workflow much faster and much easier. For the breakout, we're going to create some geometry from scratch because we understand this is something you guys do daily. So we're going to be using the cross section of the butterfly valve and I've sped up some geometry creation, but this gives us a good chance to look at the new fresh interface of V25. You'll notice here the status bar, the icons are a lot cleaner and a lot crisper and accessing the menus are very easy. The quad command has been updated as well with additional context menus and also the ribbon layout is, is much improved, giving you a lot cleaner interface to work with. Using 2D parametric constraints on this tab enables me to show you one of the new features in V25. You may have noticed in the past when you overdefine a profile, it will then conflict and bring up an error message. In V25, we've got the option now of creating reference parameters to the values. So you'll notice here where I've got an angle setting the 45 degree is conflicting with the horizontal value. So you can select the dimension tool and drop down under reference and set it as a reference value. And it puts a parenthesis around the value, meaning it's either a driving dimension or a driven dimension, making it very easy to change the reference. Keep the view cleaner by hiding and showing the relationships and dimensions within the 2D parameters box, making it easier to navigate. I'm just going to build some construction geometry to form part of the stem and also save a view which we can recall later on in the demo. Now we've got some geometry on screen, we can introduce one of the productivity enhancements we've made to the trim tool. You'll notice in quick mode how sharp the boundary detection is. It's vastly improved and really easy to predict and offers real productivity gains to you, the CAD user. You have much more accuracy when trimming across multiple boundaries. You'll notice here the preview is instant, giving you much more feedback as the user. I've also selected more than one entity. There's a tool called Selection Cycling that's been added this year, which I'll come on to later, and allows you to identify any overlapping entities. The trim command also works a lot better across hatch boundaries, making it really easy to pick up hatch regions and close boundaries, enabling really fast 2D edits. I mentioned this when in the trim command, we've added another productivity enhancement called selection cycling, which is new to V25. It allows you to pick any overlapping entities and choose which layer to reassign it to or delete it. And it's great when working with imported files with any overlapping entities. Performance and productivity are baked into V25 and the mirror command has been drastically improved. This year, you'll notice now when you run the preview, of the geometry, it shows the temporary graphics and it makes it much more controllable and easier to work with. It's much more predictable and intuitive, particularly for those users that have migrated from another 2D CAD tool. It behaves just as you'd expect. Brings us to the halfway point of the breakout. And I just wanted to summarize what we've seen so far. We've looked at reference parameters that can be added to dimensions. We've also looked at the enhancements to the trim command for much more accuracy and easier to control when working across multiple boundaries. Selection cycling for selecting overlapping geometry, offering parity to other CAD platforms. And last but no means least, the mirror command, which makes it much more intuitive and easier to work with. In the second part of this breakout, we're now gonna look at some of the additional functionality that we've added to BricsCAD for standard tools that you guys use every day. First of all, we're gonna look at the enhancements that we've made to the table functionality to give it that kind of Excel based feel. We'll also introduce the new dimensioning tools that we've offered that adds a lot of parity to other DW based platforms. Improvements that we've made to the scale command, which is a commonly used feature, and also the publishing, how we can better collaborate with suppliers. A regularly used annotative tool is a table. In BricsCAD 25, we can now drag the cell content, and if you right click, you can choose whether you copy the value sequentially, or you can select the value and just copy and paste, giving you that sort of Excel-based feel. And it's very quick, 
to duplicate data. The functionality enhancements don't just stop there. You've also got the ability to copy formulas from one cell to another. So you'll notice here, I'm actually looking at totaling up the value for the components. So for this, we can just put in standard Excel-based functions and you'll notice it duplicates the value. You could then copy and paste the cell content from one to another. We understand detailing documentation is an integral part of your workflow. In BricsCAD V25, we've added two new dimension types. The first one is a job line dimension that allows you to put a jog line on a radial dimension, making it very clear and concise to communicate your design detail. Here I've got a standard slotted channel and I've taken a section view in the middle of the component. And I want to detail this value showing a break line. And this is a new dimension enhancement we've added in V25, making it much easier and quicker. We understand many of our customers only work in the model space environment. This is why we've looked at tools such as the scale command. You'll notice now when you drag the preview, it updates live and it, it takes any guesswork out of using the command. This is great because it's much more predictable to work with and it offers great parity for anyone that's moved from another DWG based CAD tool. To help you publish the documentation now you've created it, we've made some enhancements to the eTransmit dialog box. You'll notice now when you send a file to transmit, You've got an option with external references to choose whether you bind or insert them into the document, making it much quicker and familiar to users that have come from other platforms. Thanks for attending the breakout session. Here's a summary of what we've covered. I really hope you've taken some tips from this session that will benefit your workflow in the future. If you'd like to learn more about the BricsCAD V25 features, head to Brixis.com or scan the QR code 